and this is 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. Our special guest on the podcast again today is Christopher R. Riano, the president of the Center for Civic Education. Christopher, where do LGBTQ plus rights stand today? And what current issues do you foresee on the horizon? You know, it's incredible to think that it was just a year ago that in the vast majority of the United States, LGBTQ couples had a federal right to marriage equality. And yet in the vast majority of states, they could be fired just for putting a picture of their spouse on their desk. It's really amazing to see the arc of social justice in the LGBTQ rights movement from 1967 to 2017. But the work is not done. And Bostick, the case I just referred to that ensured that you cannot be fired because you put a picture of your spouse on your desk, just came out last year. There's a number of questions that surround the rights of transgender Americans and surround the rights of other parts of the LGBTQ spectrum that are going to continue to be very important when it comes to this particular social justice movement. But I think the thing that's exciting to see and the thing that I always recognize within the book is that it's through unity and through working through social justice movements and racial justice movements and and women's rights and other areas of equality that we can continue to move forward and continue to continue to strengthen the American experience for all Americans across the country. Thank you for joining us again today, Christopher. That concludes our special series of Pride Week podcasts from 60 Second Civics. Thank you to our sponsor, T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. 